back guys Jessie from the Scrappy Sisters so I am sorry that we have been we have both been so MIA of late there's just been you know a lack of mojo and a lot of things going on in our lives at the moment that scrapping hasn't been top of our priorities in fact I actually literally have not scrapped for three months I've just not found the energy or the time but hopefully I am now back. So I am using a Paige Taylor Evans cut file, um, the layer layering flowers cut file um, that you can get in the Silhouette store or if you join her Facebook group. I think it's one of the free cut files she gives away in her Facebook group. Um, I'm also using the Simple Stories I Am collection. So just splashing on some gold hardy shine and some black hardy shine just to give the page a little bit of something. Um, a lightly colored pattern paper probably would have looked really cute on this, like that ledger paper you can get. But anyway, I didn't do that. I didn't overthink this too much. I could have ums and ah'd and ums and ah'd about which side of the pages to use because they're both such beautiful um, patterns and flowers and colors. But I thought, oh, they all look amazing just go just go with it so as you can see I'm just trying to bend up the edges a little bit I do put this into an album so it's going to get completely flattened anyway but I just love the look of the um, dimension that you have when you do sort of pop it up a little bit and take those first initial photos and the first couple of times you have a look at the layout it looks so pretty being popped up and um, dimensional so I just bent them anyway but again I really didn't do it too carefully because there was no point it's going to go flat in my album and when it, then it's going to go on my bookshelf and I'm one of those people that feel accomplished when I file my um, layouts away straight away so it doesn't even sit out for a small amount of time it goes straight into the pocket because I'm like yes I did that one go because I do scrap in chronological order as well so as I said I haven't scrapped for three months so I'm three months behind so I feel very happy that I am now catching up and getting up to date I really wanted to use the other side of that green diamond paper because the flowers are so pretty um, but I really thought the green was a better color match but in the end I was like nah the flowers are too pretty have to do it turn it over have to do it because look at it it's such a beautiful collection oh. the one thing that irks me about this collection um, is the papers and stuff are cream kind of colored which that's totally fine that doesn't irk me but in the embellishment pack the ephemera pack you know how they often like sort of you don't cut flush to the picture you, there's a little edge all the way around but well, the edge is white that irks me if you're going to have a cream collection then the edge around the embellishments needs to be cream as well why is the edging white in this case though i must say it doesn't matter as much because i'm backing this on white paper and i am incorporating a little bit of white as well so i'm just mixing the white and cream together so it doesn't actually matter this time around but sometimes it would matter yeah that's what i think so my background is not quite dry yet it's still got a few splatters on it but oh well rolling with it try not to stick my finger in any of the big bits um just popping on double-sided tape to stick this down again not being too careful not wanting to stick all the way to the very edges because i do want to have that um sort of popping upness happening and then I realized when I tried to stick it down that I have to be a little bit careful with that too because I don't just want to squash it straight away now. I haven't even made it yet. So I just kind of rub a little bit underneath all the flowers there just to make sure it's down, which it is. So I am using three photos that were from an ultrasound. If you haven't watched like this is not my reveal or my news if you haven't watched any of my other videos um from you know not that long ago i shared with you all that i am having baby number two 
and um, yeah so these ultrasound photos I just thought looked super cute in amongst this flower petals um, in case you're wondering we don't know what we're having the gender is a surprise so you'll find out when I start sharing new baby layouts um, this kit I am using um, obviously it's the simple stories I am collection but it is the May Kidaholics kit that I am using here so there's a few other bits and bobs that come as part of the kit and not part of the simple stories collection but I'll make sure I point those out as they come along so I didn't stick the photos down like I usually would I actually put the double sided tape on the front of the photos and stuck them to the petals that way just so then they will uh, stay sort of flipping out these are acrylic like plastic um, little flowers that are from Corbett Creations which is super cute so I stuck those down where you saw them I just did that off screen I used double sided tape sometimes I use glue but I couldn't be bothered going to get my glue so I just used double sided tape I find both works um, depends on how long you want to wait for your glue to dry if you've got a quicker drying glue that'd be fine my PVA is just normal PVA and it's quite wet so it takes a while um, just putting a little something something in the middle there we got the um, sticker book I suppose you'd want to call it from the Simple Stories I Am collection which is freaking amazing there are so many stickers in there like a bazillion so that's really cool and then I just tied a little bow that I have stuck on again with double sided tape just to give the center there something a little bit special um, for those of you that are part of Paige Evans Facebook group this is a scrap lift of one of the amazing girls who shared a layout she did in there um, obviously it's not exactly the same but the concept is the same the having the flower um, was something that she did which I just loved the minute I saw it and wanted to adapt and I knew the second I saw it that it would be perfect for these photos and this collection because of the black that is carried through this collection and the black that's in the black and white ultrasounds I knew that it would work amazingly so I'm super thrilled that she shared that and I was able to jump on board with it and speaking of scrap lifting that is something I find I do I do full stop but I also do when I've like fully lost my mojo and just oh can't get back into the swing of it but no a that I want to like I enjoy scrapping but b if I don't I'm gonna get so far behind and then the overwhelming daunting feeling is gonna kick in and then I'll get even further behind and that's just so silly this is something that I love to do and that I find really fun and relaxing I just couldn't get myself to do it so anyway I found a layout that really inspired me that I really loved and so that's why I decided I would scrap lift that and just go with it because I think that that's a really nice way to sort of kick you off and get you going again so back to the layout I put on I glued on a few little um, love heart, I don't know, rhinestones, but that are not sticky. They came in a really old Kidaholics Kids, couldn't tell you which one, from many, many moons ago. I think February of like last year, but they were super cute and there's a thousand of them in the bag. So I've still been using those. And then my title is just super simple. It's just the, um, the week that we're at with this ultrasound which is 22 weeks um, and now I'm just popping on some embellishments so looking through that um, ephemera pack the exclusive cut parts that comes from Kidaholics Kids and the sticker book as well <coughs> excuse me so just using a bit of a mishmash of all three of those things there to add a bit of something to the petals and to the photos which was a little bit tricky because I kind of wanted to go crazy and the layout doesn't really need you to go crazy so I had to be careful not to um, overdo but I think 
I think I managed to restrain myself. Um, what else could I tell you? Not a lot. So these, I was 22 weeks in May, so it's now August. So I'm quite a bit further than that now. Literally right this minute, I am 33 weeks. When this video goes live, I'll still be 33 weeks, but 33 weeks and some few days. So getting close to the pointy end now, I'm still working and will be still working for the next four or so weeks. Um, I only work two days a week, so, you know, it'll be fine. So just plugging along at home, no dramas. I have no dramas. I don't want to complain. I mean, sorry, I don't want to brag, but mm, pregnancy life has been going quite well, which is very nice for me. I'm very lucky. And that's about all. I'm not sure what Mr. Two is going to think when there is a small child that he has to share my attention with, but he will learn. Um, I am not, when I stick on this ephemera, I am not sticking it like thoroughly, thoroughly down. Because again, I'm, I'm just sort of sticking it to the little bits of the paper that it touches, if that makes sense. Because I still want to try and get that dimension happening in the different petals. You'll see then that I added again some more glue. That was to put on some more of those little pink rhinestone love hearts. Because they're just so damn cute. And there's just a thousand in the bag. Like honestly, I've used them on lots of layouts. They're so amazing. And then just some black and gold actual rhinestones that I just picked up cheap from the $2 shop. A big, 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 big collection of that I'm just slowly working my way along the sheet. Um, just stuck with that black and gold concept because it really matched with the papers quite well. And then I think I'm pretty much done. Go back for a few more stickers because honestly, look at that sticker book. There are so many sheets in that. It's just amazing. You can never have too many. Something I probably could have used on this layout but didn't um, for a little bit more dimension was maybe some like sort of chipboard size bits of ephemera. Uh, everything's flat, like it's all stickers or it's all paper ephemera, but that's okay. I think you get the dimension from putting on the rhinestones and putting on that little bow and putting on the acrylic flowers. I think that sort of gives it a little bit of texture around the flower petals. But sometimes chipboard is a really nice touch. I really don't use it very often. I love the watercolour effect on those um, tiny word phrases that's so gorgeous. I love that sheet of pe that sheet of um, sticker that's gorgeous. Oh yeah, butterflies. I can never have too many butterflies. So I thought I'd squeeze in two of those as well. I'm just addicted to this sticker sheet. You can see me. I'm going through it and over it and through it and over it and I'm just trying to see what I can use because I really want to use more kind of wanted that to be, it's a compass, but kind of wanted it to be a pocket watch, so you know, kind of that concept of waiting and time, but I think the idea, even though it's a compass, I think you get the idea. So here are some close-ups for you of um, the layout and little Bubba's face. <laughs> um, super gorgeous collection, super gorgeous layout, oh, just love it. And I've also got two or three photos that I'll pop in at the end for you to have a look at as well. So I hope you liked it, guys. And please like and subscribe. And we will catch you next time. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.